Well, I think that the two elements that are more important for me, one is that uh, we were able, during the very stressful situation of the crisis, to come up with new uh, monetary policy instruments that uh, were essential to indeed address the more acute phase of the crisis. And that is uh, very important because these instruments, forward guidance, uh, asset uh, purchases, uh, long-term uh, uh, liquidity facilities, all of that stays as a toolkit for the future and to be used whenever it will be necessary again in stressful situations. So there will be no excuses that there are no instruments. They have been created. The second point is uh, the opportunity I had to build up a uh, financial stability and macro prudential uh, department which uh, I am proud because the uh, experts that now in, uh, are working in this area uh, have been able uh, under my guidance to create what I think is a state-of-the-art department on financial stability comparable with all other major central banks. Well, in, in fact, they were 18 years because I was 10 as governor of the National Central Bank of uh, Portugal. So 18 years that have been uh, uh, incredible in terms of uh, the progress that the European project had during this time. The euro is at the center of it as a big uh, cement uh, and uh, nevertheless um, the crisis itself showed that the initial design of the monetary union was insufficient, that other elements were necessary to be added and the banking union came, it's not yet complete. Uh, capital markets union will be an important consequence of a monetary union, but it's still uh, uh, at, the, at its beginnings, uh, and I think these elements have to be uh, completed. Uh, and also another element that the crisis showed is that the monetary union, being a collective endeavor, needs at the center a macro stabilization function and that has to be uh, done by introducing a stronger coordination of fiscal policies of member states in order to introduce a perspective of a fiscal policy for the whole euro area and also a macro stabilization fund that would uh, had to face uh, uh, asymmetric and symmetric shocks to our economies. I will do some teaching when I go, I will have my blog, so I will not comment to start with on current policies, but I will reflect on macroeconomics, on monetary policy, on Europe, in particular on Europe, because I am worried that the architecture of monetary union is not complete, it has still fragilities, and I very much hope that the governments take advantage of the good economic moment that we are crossing right now to really take decisions that will prepare us for the future. Well, it would be that the member states would have taken the decisions to complete uh, banking union to start with and that is related to the uh, creation of a project of European deposit insurance and also a fiscal backstop to the single resolution fund and if possible uh, now that I am asking that uh, some breakthrough would also be uh, decided in what regards uh, capital markets union that would be a great gift for monetary union and therefore for the ECB.